No, we have to believe God's Word. Like I said last night, I'll say it again today because there may be some other people listening. And this is a true story. Woman went up, people went up to a woman's house, knocked on her door, and was witnessing to her about Jesus and, and uh, t told them that Jesus had went into the to the into hell, into the lower parts of the earth. And she went and grabbed her Bible and said, well, sh show me where it's at in my Bible. And they turned the pages over there and found it. And she just grabbed that page, just ripped it out and said, well, it's not in my Bible. <laughs> Now that's a side, ain't it? Now what would possess a person? What kind of mindset would you have to have to say, <laughs> and here it, is, here it is written on the pages of this book, to say that I don't believe that. Now to me that's just craziness. That, that is really just Craziness. You know, uh, if I turned over here and I see where God said, wealth and riches shall be in his house, <clears throat> and many other scriptures like that, and I said, well, I don't believe that. Where... You know, that to me, that's crazy. It, it is. It's just spiritually just craziness. I, I, can't, I can't comprehend that. It's just like you turn over there and read 1 Peter 2, 24, and it says that, you know, at the latter part of it, it says, by his stripes you were healed. And you say, well, I don't believe that. This is God's Word. That's craziness to me. How could you not believe that? How could anybody in the right mind read through God's Word and through the book of Acts and, and right on through and come up with a, con with a conclusion now, and you hear me, that anything at all has stopped working? Oh, that passed away. Where, what kind of Scripture would give you the ideal that anything passed away. Any one thing. I said, there's not even one thing that is changed from the day Jesus rose from the dead and went to heaven and applied His blood on the mercy seat, come back down here, gave the disciples some more orders, and went back to heaven, sat down on the right hand of God. There is not one thing that's changed since that day. Nothing has stopped. Nothing. Amen. I believe that, don't you? Now, you're going to get in trouble if you start believing things that the Bible doesn't teach and doesn't say, you're going to get in trouble. You, it's, going to, it's going to turn you down a road you don't want to go on. It'll cause you to speak things contrary to God's Word. Do you want to do that? I don't want to do that. Well, how do I stay on track? Believe everything He says. Everything He says. Well, I don't understand stand that. Well, I don't have to understand everything. But I will believe it. Now, if you get into the mindset also, this old kind of carnal thinking that you think you have to understand everything, will you tell me how a virgin is going to have a baby? Understand that one. And when you get that figured out, you tell me, and then maybe we both understand it. Maybe I can tell somebody else and help them. I won't be looking to hear from you. Right? Well, how could a man that was be born a cripple never walk in his life one day, hear something, believe something, and, and uh, the next minute he's as well as you or I? Yeah. Explain that to me. Well, there's lots of those things that you, that you just need to believe. 
who, who has to figure out uh, how God heals somebody? Who cares? I mean, who really cares? What difference does it make? You know what? You come to a table and it's spread. Whew. Ooh, look at that good food. Well, I ain't going to sit there for the next three hours trying to figure out well, what kind of ingredients is in this and, and how did you make this? No, I'm going to eat it every bit up. Everything I can hold. I'm going to eat it. Enjoy it. Yeah. Right? Just take it. Believe what God said about it. If God said, by his stripes you're healed, you don't have to understand. Just accept it. Believe it. If God says, I'll supply all of your need according to my riches and glory, I'm working at a minimum wage paying job. Lord, how are you going to supply my need? Now, I need this amount of money. Now, how are you going to do that? Quit trying to figure it out. And just believe him. Why not? Just believe him, and he will. Praise God.